European leaders in Brussels have agreed a new and reduced budget for the next seven years. It's been a long time coming. Talks went on all last night and throughout today. But the final figure represents the first ever cut in EU spending. David Cameron called it a good deal for Britain, although Britain's own contribution will in fact rise. Our political editor Gary Gibbon reports from Brussels. For the first time since its birth, Europe's budget is being cut back by 3.5% over the next seven years. It's what David Cameron wanted, and he had other net contributors, especially Germany, on side to help him achieve it. And I would argue that the events of the last 48 hours, where we formed a strong alliance, we took a very strong view, we actually said we're going to cut Europe's credit card, and we cut Europe's credit card in such a way that spending is properly constrained for the future. That, I would argue, is part of the new settlement that we so badly need in the European Union. The Prime Minister repeatedly boasted not only that he'd slashed the budget, but that he'd not been isolated. It proved, he said, that his speech last month demanding a renegotiation of British terms of membership, followed by an in-out referendum, had not turned EU partners against him. Is there a chance that you're alienating, did you get a sense that you're alienating people with a referendum threat, or it's making them want to keep you on board? I don't actually find it makes it more difficult to build partnerships, whether the, with the German Chancellor or the Swedes or the Danes or the Dutch or with the French President when it comes to the work we're doing in North Africa. In fact, if anything, quite the reverse. President Hollande didn't sound like a fan of that speech. He said Britain's rebate on its contribution to EU funds survived last night's talks, but it wouldn't necessarily survive if there was a new treaty on British membership. Je savais qu'il n'y avait pas de possibilité de mettre en cause le chèque britannique. I knew the British check was in the treaty. It means it will remain unchallenged until the treaty is amended, and the United Kingdom should keep that in mind. The old tradition of France and Germany sewing up deals ahead of a summit yet again didn't happen. Germany sided with Britain, the Dutch, the Swedes to get cuts. The European Parliament must now approve the deal and some there say David Cameron and his allies hacked back the wrong bits of the EU budget. The, the common agriculture policy, no changes. And the cuts were in innovation, in research and in infrastructure. That's a bad choice to make in an economic recession. All the people, including the British Prime Minister, speak about we have to be more competitive and then we have a budget which is not going in that direction. That's not acceptable. Prime Minister, are you happy? Yeah. Every national leader now goes home claiming a brilliant negotiating triumph. I, I'm a small country, I got 10% more. Oh. <laughs> You need to know how to what negotiate. What are you going to do now? <laughs> what? I'm Present. happy. Okay. Broadly, the truth is that the net donor countries won over the net recipient countries. And that put David Cameron, at this summit at least, on the winning side. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, Brussels. The markets now, and at the close, the index of 100 leading shares closed 35.5 points up, a rise of just over half a percent.